The small overlap crash test is a relatively new test that was created by IIHS, the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. What we're finding with the small overlap crash is that because vehicles weren't designed in many cases to cope with this crash condition, we're seeing a lot of deformation in the area where people sit. This is a test that results in a lot of occupant injuries and fatalities. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety is one of the leading organizations producing research on the safety of cars, the safety of roads, and the effectiveness of laws to try and deal with the problem of car crashes. The research center was opened in 1992, and we began crash testing in January of 1993. And today we're um, adding the small overlap crash test to our suite of tests. The purpose of a crash test dummy is to let us know how well the restraint systems within the vehicle did at protecting an occupant during a specific crash. A dummy is uh, primarily made up of, of metal and, and vinyl parts, and we fill the dummy's head, neck, chest, and extremities with different sensors that give us an indication of how different external forces acting on the dummy would lead to injury. Getting the dummies ready for a crash involves uh, pre-test inspection of not only all the sensors within the dummy to make sure that they're configured properly, but inspecting all of the different parts, make sure that nothing's broken, and also full calibration of the dummy to make sure that the dummy is behaving uh, in an impact situation the way it was designed to be. Today we're crashing the Volvo XC60 uh, sport utility vehicle. So Volvos have always been uh, very good cars for crashworthiness. That's one of the uh, companies that pays a lot of attention to the needs of protecting people in crashes. I would say that uh, safety is a very important thing for Volvo and it has always been so. Well, it's always a nervous situation before the test. It's incredible the amount of work that goes into a crash test uh, for the milliseconds of the crash. There are days of preparing. When a vehicle comes in, one of the first things we do is document it, its uh, pre-crash state with some photographs. Then it goes straight into our vehicle prep area where we start draining fluids from the vehicle. And then we also start measuring the vehicle structure. Uh, part of the vehicle's rating comes from how much that structure deforms around the occupant. So we want to get a pre-crash condition of that structure. After all of that's captured, we get the vehicle seat into a pre-crash position, start placing some instrumentation into the vehicle, and uh, once all of that's done, we can move the vehicle out here to our crash hall. Before the crash, one of the things we have to do is make sure all of our lighting and cameras are in a good position to allow us to document what happens during the crash. Following the crash hall, we can move the vehicle way back into our shed to uh, let the vehicle and the dummy sit in the temperature controlled shed right before the crash. So when we prep the dummy right before the crash, one of the things we do is place makeup or grease paint on the dummy's head and also on, on the dummy's knees. And the reason we do this is so that we can, after the crash, document the different head contact locations and, and have some indication as to where the head loaded the airbag or slid off and hit another vehicle component. After that, we go through some final dummy positioning and then we crash the car. Thank you.
it's a very dramatic test to see. You can see the damage that can really be done. In an ideal situation, what we see in a crash is the restraint systems, so the, the belts uh, and, and the airbags have done a very good job of containing the occupant within the safety cage and without too much forward excursion, good clean loading into the airbag, and for the most part, you want to make sure that the safety cage is, is well intact. And um, in today's crash, you know, we, we did see that. We're still waiting for all the numbers to come back, but um, the initial uh, look at the Volvo XC60 looks like it's done pretty well in the crash. Um, we understand that the measurements from the sensors in the dummy all indicate a low risk of injury, and our engineers will be measuring it up this afternoon, but first appearances, the structure's held up well. The dummy results was really good. And if you look at the compartment for, for the passengers, you couldn't see any intrusions. So I think it was a very good result. So the future of protecting people in crashes, I think, is going to involve more and more testing of systems that help the drivers avoid being in crashes in the first place. Um, we've, we've done a lot of work on crash worthiness, and cars are much more able to protect people when crashes occur. There's still a little bit of work to do, but the exciting thing in highway safety is that we're now seeing technology going into vehicles that can actually help drivers avoid being in the crash in the first place. Safety is a core value at Volvo. It's something that we've been involved in since the creation of the company. And going forward, what we're really looking to do is achieve a crash-free future where the vehicle completely avoids the crash altogether.